Please welcome the athletes to the field of play. Well, out come the six archers now to compete in the men's team's final. Kazakhstan and Korea. Korean team is uh, massively strong here. Kazakhstan have got a big job ahead of them to win the gold here. Shooting on target number one, representing Korea, Kim Woo Jin, Kim Jae Jok, Lee Woo Seok. Shooting on target two, representing Kazakhstan, Abdulin Ilfak. Yerimenko Alexander, Jean Bayhubey Dowlet Kelby. The line judge for this match is Ward Nongri Paya Barilia. So here we go, it's Korea versus uh, Kazakhstan. Now, Olympic qualification was also on the line here, but Korea had already qualified their team through the World Championships in Berlin. So uh, Kazakhstan, by winning their semi-final over Chinese Taipei by 5-3, to three, that secured Olympic qualification for Kazakhstan. So a brilliant effort for them. The first time we've seen a uh, Kazakhstan team make the team's event at a Olympic Games. So awesome that they are able to do that. That is amazing. And uh, let's see if they can go all the way now and uh, celebrate by beating Korea. But uh, boy, there's some talent in this Korean team. Now more so than that man right there, Kim Woo Jin. He's been right at the top of world archery for a long time. He's currently third in the world, still only 31. Great start for Lee Wu Siok, who was the top qualifier in the ranking round with a score of 693. That was a championship record. Now, Kim Jae Diok. Who took the Olympic Games by storm. What a character he was in Tokyo. And of course, he'll be hoping to back up the selection in the Korean team next year. Of course, uh, remember, it's not athletes that are qualified through the Olympic qualification process the World Archery has in place. It is the, the countries that are qualified. And then it's up to each country to select their athletes. Great start from Abdullin. That was a 10. Now, Alexander Yeramenko. 19 year old, two teenagers in this Kazakh lineup. And here's the other one Jalut Keldi Shang Burbai. He's just 19. Nine. He starts with a nine as well. Nine. So, solid start to Kazakhstan. Kim Wujin, who we'll see in the final of the individual event later too yeah, tell you what he's starting off hot form here two other korean archers in this team will face off against each other for the bronze medal lee woo siok now kim to end the first set and if he Scores a 10. Korea will tie it in the very least. Such a lovely style he has. It's a 58 out of 60. And uh, five 10s in there. Just that eight from 
Kim on his first arrow. Now Abdullin. Of course, we saw him in Tokyo. Competing for his country. And that uh, score right there means that Korea will win the first set. Yudomenko has uh, experience at a World Archery Youth Championships. scored by him and now Shang Burbe to end and he finishes in style with a 10 so always good to get a 10 in the bank so all yellow scores there for Kazakhstan but just not enough 10s but some solid scoring there 58 look to play 56 for that one Kazakhstan had wins over Japan so they've actually had in their two previous matches in the team's competition remember they qualified 10th in the ranking round so they beat Japan who was 7th in the qualification beat them 5-3 and then they beat Chinese Taipei the third ranked team 5-3 so brilliant effort from Kazakhstan to qualify well, really um, defy their qualification standing in the ranking round, which is 10th. Come through and beat those two teams high, ranked higher than them to secure an Olympic spot next year. Brilliant from them. But the crazy thing is, of course, all three here even though they've qualified their country a spot, they've now got to keep their form up. They've got to keep their standards high. Otherwise, they risk not being selected by their country selectors for Paris. So, plenty of motivation for them to keep going and going strong. Get on the plane to Paris. So, 58 to 55. In fact, the score is going to be locked in. Oh no, 56. It's just clicked over again. So 58 to 56. That is the confirmed first set score with Korea taking the two set points. Don't forget, coming up, we have the mixed teams final. Got a shout out too for Indonesia, their men's team. They have taken the bronze medal, beating Chinese Taipei 5-4. Winning, winning that shoot off 29-28. So well done to the Indonesian team to claim the bronze medal in this men's team's competition. Now set number two of the gold medal match. Ilfat Abdullin starts off with a nine. Experienced archer now, he's 25. He's got three World Archery Championship caps to his name now. Been on the World Cup stage 14 times. No. So the Kazakh archers are going well. He's scoring everything yellow so far. Just two tens. No. No. Two tens from eight arrows now and six nines. So pretty consistent scoring. Kim has got two tens on his scorecard. Uh, it's a uh, disappointing return for him. Yeah. Of course, Lee Wu Soku's just uh, scored a ten there. Saw him burst onto the scene at the 2014 Youth Olympic Games. Won gold there, but struggled to get selected in the senior team from there. It's only in uh, recent years that he's uh, started to look a little more secure in his spot on the national team at major events. Chance here for Kazakhstan with scores locked up. 
That's good. Abdullah gets his second 10 of the match. Oh, Yeramenko. Uh, looks, looks good for a 10, that one. Sean Burbe now. He gets a 10 here. They'll square the set at worst. Oh, yes. Love that one. 10, 10, 10. Fantastic archery from Kazakhstan showing us the form that ousted those two are higher ranked countries. So three tens required from Korea here just to square the set now. And Kazakhstan are going to lock this up. Well, the Koreans, despite winning all three of their matches to this point over Thailand, Bangladesh and Indonesia. They have dropped set points in all three of the matches they've won. Dropped a set point to Thailand and two each to Bangladesh and Indonesia. So they're not an unfamiliar territory. No. But we always know they come back strong. So Kazakhstan, 57 out of 60, that's excellent. Some good scoreboard pressure that they created in that set. And they will lock this match up at two set points each. So plenty for Lee, Kim and Kim to digest, discuss, along with their coach. As I mentioned earlier, we'll see all three Koreans again in the individual competition. Two of them facing each other for bronze. Kim Woo Jin, he will face Tang Chi Chun of Chinese Taipei in the final of the individual competition. Ilfat Abdullin from Kazakhstan. He was involved in the mixed teams competition, beaten in the quarterfinals. To appear from the Philippines. Kim Woo Jin started off with a hiss and a roar, didn't he? With uh, two tens in a row and then uh, locked in an eight and a nine in that set. He'll be. Uh, Wanting to go back to that first set, such a good archer over several years now. He's been to two Olympic Games, won golds at both of them, 2016 and 2021 in the team's event. Hasn't kicked on in the individual, but winning the individual Olympic title is a hard thing to do. It's not easy. You've just got to bring it every arrow. So 57 to 54 it was indeed in that set. So it's two set points all. On we go to set number three. This match is right in the balance. Kim Woo Jin to start off again. Oh, good start there for Kim. Nine. 
Well, score so far for Kim Jetyok of 8, 10, 9, 9, 9. So just the 110 from the youngster. 28, a pretty solid score though. It's one better than their previous set. Nine. But again, this Kazakh team, the first, these three archers, all yellow scores, nothing. In the red, Korea have had two arrows in the red so far. Probably just jinxed them. There we go. <laughs> Yeremenko. Oh, he didn't like it from the moment it left his bow. To put some bit of pressure on his teenage compatriot, Zhang Burbe. And he responds again. This is the. For the first time, we've seen him step up and nail a 10 when it's needed for his country. And that keeps the Kazakh team nice and close to Korea midway through this third set. Back to back 10s there for Kim. Korea nice and strong so 10 here from Kim Jetyuk will wrap up this third set oh yes he has it fantastic stuff from the Korean team they just have a knack of doing what's required when they when it really needs to happen Three brilliant arrows there from the three Koreans. Oh, Yedomenko's got to get his radar right. He's Dropped in back to back eights. No. So that's it. The most comfortable margin of all three so far. 58 to 53. And Yedomenko's got to get to. sorted again and fast with the Koreans now on match point at four set points to two looking solid again to win the men's team's title here at the Asian Championships for the sixth straight time now this uh, event goes all the way back to 1981 and Korea have only not won it three times India won it in 1989 and again in 2007. Japan, 1997. In fact, four times they haven't won it. Malaysia won it in 2011. The last country other than Korea to win it. Korea have won it 17 times. So 58 to 53 was the set score on that one. So a tied set will be enough for Korea to win this. This gold medal here in this uh, next set. going to be Ilfat Abdullah to go first in this fourth set. 
Kazakhstan have just unfortunately just uh, seen their form tail off a little. Just 110 in that last set. Back to back eights to start this one. Shang oh. Burbay's been the most consistent. 9 10, 9 10, 10, 9 10 been great. There goes Kim Woo Chin at his best. Perfect start there in these very hot and sweaty conditions. Very muggy here in Bangkok. And as is often the case of course, 32 degrees at the moment. Temperatures. Uh, Ten. Oh. Perfect score. Brilliant three. All in the inner ring as well. Temperature just on 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, they're enjoying themselves. Good camaraderie again amongst this Korean team. Nine. Just looking too good, aren't they? This Korean team. Marvel at the skill from the 70 metres away. Nice. But Kazakhstan shouldn't be discouraged. They should be encouraged by how they've performed here at this event. With, uh, Shang Bay with his last arrow, nine. and that's a nine, so going to be a score of 53. Same as last set, but uh, 24 required, 23 required just by the Korean team. Nine. There's nine of them. It just anything yellow or red is enough now with just uh, 14 required. The target's nice and big here for Lee Wu Siok. Oh, still finds a 10 inside that inner ring. The last arrow, the honour goes to Kim Jedyok to seal victory for Korea. And yet another men's team's gold medal here at the Asian Championships. And he does it with yet another 10. Brilliant performance from the Korean team. Waiting for the scores. 58 in the last set, 59 in this one. Just that little blemish, little pause, stumble, if you like, in that second set where they scored just 54. But other than that, it's been pretty solid archery from this Korean team yet again. So congratulations to Kim Woo-jin, Lee Woo-seok, and Kim Jae-deok. They will be the gold medal winners here at the Asian Championships. Well, Lee's won his sixth gold medal at these championships. Kim, who's, of course, uh, a little younger than the others. He's only 19. Actually, he's going to win his first. Uh, that was his first gold medal at the Asian Championships, and Kim Woo Jin. It's just a second, but remember, the elite squad doesn't generally come to this championships, which Kim has been a part of for many years. So good to see him competing and winning here.